Sometimes what we don't get is that God works in paradoxes. God will put you in an area where you're constantly being rejected, 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 belittled, rejected, laughed at, mocked, scorned, whatever. The bottom line is Satan is using you. Satan is using all of those episodes in your life to destroy the weapon that you carry within. What God is doing, what Satan means for bad, God's going to use for good. They that weep come with weeping. Mm. Oh boy. Let's say it like this. Weeping may endure for a night. This too shall pass. But joy cometh in the morning. So with every tear that you drop, with every time, every moment that you shed tears, you cry, you feel discouraged, you cry out to God, you're afraid that it's all over, that it's a waste. Every time you go through that, if you do it before God, if you pour your heart out before God, God will gird you up. He will gird you up every moment you choose to stay the course. You're getting more strength. No matter how weak you feel, no matter how useless you feel, no matter how impotent you feel, God is giving you more and more power. Your strength is in the stay. Your strength is in the endurance. Your strength is in not giving up. So you don't see it. You're not aware of it. But you're growing. You're growing in leaps and bounds. The fruits of the Holy Spirit are growing within you. They're multiplying. And you don't see it. But everyone else can see it. Everyone else appreciates what you're going through. And they marvel at your strength. Years ago, I was trying to lose weight, <laughs> same old thing, yeah. And when I was trying to lose weight, I went on a cleanse. At the beginning of the cleanse, boy, it was dropping off. Oh, I was, I was doing, I was making progress, leaps and bounds. Oh yeah, it was, woo, I was getting my little girlish figure back, all right. But, 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 there came a point where that came to an end. And now I had to just try to stick with the regimen without doing the cleanse. And it looked like, and it felt like I came to a screeching halt. I got so discouraged, I didn't know what to do. I was so angry. So why is it so hard for me to lose? And I went month after month after month. I was so frustrated until I got on the scale at the doctor's office. Wait a minute, I lost 40 pounds during the first part. Where did the other 30 pounds happen? I, I wasn't even aware. I had lost another 30 pounds. And some of you are losing the weights and the sins that so easily beset you. You're being cleansed. You're being delivered. You're being free bit by bit, increment by increment, stage by stage, moment by moment. You can't see it, but everyone else sees it. And one day I was at the plaza and one of the ladies that I went to cosmetology school with, I saw her way off at a distance. I had dark shades on. I'm sneaky that way. And I'm peeping over at her and I'm wondering, should I bother to go over and say hi? We were so far apart. So far, I was going a whole different direction. And this is what I saw her do. She looked at me and she went, oh. She was shocked. I didn't see the difference. Y'all don't see the difference. You get frustrated. When is this going to happen? When is that? What's taking me so long? What's wrong with me? Everybody else is saying, oh, 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 wow. And you're sitting up there farting and crying and getting all frustrated with God and yourself and the devil because you, you can't see it. But all the time, God is faithful. 
steadily working on you, baby. He is faithful. I love that song. He who began a good work in you. He is faithful to complete it. He is faithful to complete it. He is faithful to complete it in you. Don't give up. You hang in there. You stay the course. Don't be weary in well-doing. For in due season you shall reap if you faint not. Don't faint. Don't faint. Now's not the time. Your redemption draweth nigh.